We're now going to add in our descending bass line. So again, you know the drill by now, we're going to add in a new instrument track. Um, I'm going to still stay very kind of acoustic, having gone through um, using a piano part. I'm going to actually add in the strings. So I'm going to still stick to Halley and Sonic. I'm going to just click up in my little box at the side, and then I'm just going to search. Let's just see what happens when I can't do strings. I want like a nice strings ensemble. Uh, let's go. What does strings ensembles? Like this one sound like. That sounds quite nice. I've just seen a choir and strings. They might be even better. Don't hear much of a difference, but we'll add that in. Okay, so we've got the R choir and strings. If it comes in with a like, nice little vocals, vocals is a fantastic little trick for um, media compositions. Perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to find where our first lot of chords end, because what we want to do now is we want to start layering the textures up to build that intensity, if you think back to our listening at the first lesson. So we're going to uh, draw in another four bar, four, four bar chord sequence. And uh, sorry, not four bar chord sequence, the four bar MIDI area. We're going to double click and we're going to call this descending bass line. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the first note of our scale, G. So we're going to find a nice low G, not too low but it's going to contrast what we've got. That sounds quite nice, and you can hear those vocals coming through now. Cool. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put the eighth note of the scale, then the seventh, sixth, and fifth. So using your sheets, you'll be able to complete this fairly quickly. I'm in the key of G minor. If you're on E minor, you'll be slightly different. But what I've done is I've given each note a whole bar, and this is now what it sounds like. And that's my descending baseline.